Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Robert here with us today who flew in from New York City to get specialized decompression care and pain for his low back and sacroiliac problems. And you've been seeing a chiropractor for how long now? For a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks now, yeah. and uh, he's been watching us on YouTube, so he decided to fly down to Houston and get care, and we welcome him to Houston. Thank you. Very good. So let's show him what we do here. All right. Let's you head forward and backwards for me first, Robert. And we always check the patient's posture first. He's got a little bit of a forward head posture in translation to the right on his cervical spine. And you can see his head's down a little bit. Now, he's really built well, but you can see his hands are out in front of him a little bit. So he's got a little rounding of the shoulders. That's due to the forward head posture. And he's got a little translation of his pelvis to the right, but that's not too bad. Okay, Robert, let's come over here on this table next. And... Please don't. Yeah, I've already done a lot of the orthopedic neurological tests and I didn't want to bore you with that, so I'm going to examine his spine now from all the way. His left leg is shorter by half an inch in the prone position. Whenever I bring his legs up, it actually stays short, but that still tightens up in your low back there, doesn't it, Robert? Yep. Yeah, see his pelvis raised up near it too. His sacroiliac joint is out right here on the left, as well as the right, but the left's worse. I'm going to have you lock your right leg straight and lift your whole right leg off the table. Okay, you can put that one down now and do the same thing with the left leg. Yeah, left leg now. See, your left leg did not come up as high and that was harder on this side, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So he has a left sacral deviation. And that's what that test is reveals. Mm -hmm. So his sacrum is out right there. And I bet you that's where you feel a lot of your pain yep. starting in there, right there. Right yeah, and L5 is out right there, and he does have increased hypertonicity in the lumbar paraspinal muscles bilaterally. Got a little bit of knots right down here in the base, too, in the multifidus and arrestor spinae and quadratus lumborum. Now, right here in the thoracolumbar area, he also has some hypertonicity. This is where the mid-back curve changes into the lower back curve. We see this quite often. And that's also got a little curvature right through here. That's a little tender there, too. I see he's a big guy. He's like a lot of people we adjust here. So that's why I get adjusted once a week myself. Taking care of guys like Robert. He's a bouncer up in the New York City nightclub. So you know he's got to be tough. Right now I'm adjusting his right sacroiliac joint first. And then I'm going to adjust the sacrum in the center and on the left. And I'm going to have him lift his whole left leg up again. Go ahead and lift his whole leg up like he did a second ago. There we go. Now we adjust that sacrum while that's up. Go ahead and put that down again. And now try to pull it up again. Yeah, that's a lot better that time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. See, that went up a lot higher, as you noticed. Now we're getting the left sacroiliac joint. Now I'm going to do straight P to A adjustment on L5, L4, L3, L2. That was tender right there, wasn't it? And there's L1. Yeah, so when your sacred misaligns, you can bet that you're going to have compensatory misalignments in the lumbar spine and thoracolumbar spine every time. Okay, Robert, just breathe normal and I'll catch you. Excellent. Boy, that moved great. Yep, I'm going to put your head down just a little bit, Robert, if you can scoot up in there a tiny bit. This opens his joints up a little bit more. Okay. And let it all go. There, good. We got another one up here. Now, I noticed the angles on my line of drive change. Further I get up, you know, I'm almost going superior to inferior here. Okay. There we go. Got a lot of muscle tissue to go through here. Boy, that moved perfect. Do you feel that one? Mm -hmm. Excellent. See, now his legs are exactly even, and I bet you this feels a ton better already. Is that easier this time, Robert? Less pressure. Is it a little less pressure than the first one? Yeah, good. Okay, now Robert's a pretty good sized guy, so I'm going to pull out the turbonator on him. So Robert's just going to sound like I'm sawing you in half, but I'm not. So take some deep breaths. Okay. 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 
get some extra some dirt on it. And then on the side, then you can take off the bottom. As well as the hand strain. treating many professional football players and, and people the size of Robert here that no matter how big you are, this still instrument and tool I've ever used to separate the muscle fibers and relax the fascia in there. Now we're going to increase the circulation in all these tissues by some percussion vibration and increase the oxygen and nutrition coming into these cells. It'll warm up the tissues too. It increases molecular activity. Inside that feels better. This is a lot easier than that turbinator, huh? Everybody wants one of these for Christmas. I just tell them they need to get somebody who knows how to drive it. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this with him because he's quite a bit more muscular than the average bear. But he's had some shoulder problems in the past as well as knee problems and we're going to be adjusting those joints as well. You're probably going to have a busy season up there around Christmas, huh? Oh, yeah. New York City is a fun place to be in Christmas holidays. Rockefeller Plaza and Tree. It's a nice place to be, huh? It is a nice place to be. I stayed at the Four Seasons there one time around Christmas and New Year's and it was really nice. Have they got the Empire State Building all lit up to red with green and Christmas colors yet? Or, or, I think so, we started on the website. Yeah. If you go up to the top of Radio City Music Hall, they got a bar right at the very top up there. That you can look out and see the Empire State Building all lit up. It's a beautiful skyline. How's the One World Trade Center looking right now? Beautiful. Beautiful, I bet. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I haven't seen that yet. Only in pictures and videos. Yeah. We're not even done yet. Okay, good. So. Now that we've got him all shake, rattle, and rolled, we're going to recheck him and see his legs are exactly even now. And tell me how this feels this time, Robert. Way better. A lot better? Yep. Okay, good. Let's turn you on your back now, please. Either I'm going to have you just lay your head in my hands like I'm a pillow. There we go. Now you put your hands on your tummy. There you go. Now I want you to just let me have your neck and head. Perfect. Excellent. Good job relaxing. Okay, now. I'm going to check his knees now. Because he's had problems with his knees doing squats and heavy lifts. So, you feel that little lateral play right there? Yep. That's the medial and lateral collateral ligament. There we go. One more here, though. That was it. You feel that in your knee and your low back? Good. And he's going to do the same thing on this left knee. Excellent. Okay, good. Now let's have you sit up here and face towards Renee. That way. There we go. Good. Now I'm going to check your shoulders. Just look straight ahead. Oops. 
You guys got snow up there right now? Uh, no, New York, no. Yeah. There we go. You hear that move in his shoulder? That was no. an excellent movement. I know you felt that, huh? I did. And there's your left shoulder. That one's not as much. But it's moving smoother. Okay, let's check your elbows and your wrists. Somebody that lifts as much as Robert does is very important to have extremity alignment intact. So we adjust through the entire pathway of the nerves. And those of you who watch us regularly know that I adjust from head to toe. Good. Excellent. Yes, sir. Good man. Okay, let's come over here on this table now. All right. I'm going to have you lay on your back right here, Robert, with your rear end there, legs down there. Now, this is Robert's first manual spinal decompression adjustment. I'm pretty sure ever. You've never had this done before, have you, Robert? No. Okay, I'm going to pin his iliac crest in, slide down just a little bit. This is an adjustment I do on all herniated disc patients and it's very effective for creating a negative vacuum within the disc. Dr. J? Yeah. You got Robert's shirt in the pen. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my shirt. <laughs> Sorry, Beth. <laughs> there we go. It's supposed to feel tight. Do you feel like you're in there tight enough, Robert? Nothing really tight. Yeah, okay. So scoot down just a tad more this way. There you go. Suck it up just a second. There we go, good. Okay, now that he's in there tight, we're gonna bring his legs up to where they're parallel with the floor. There we go. This relaxes the lumbopelvic musculature all the way up to the occiput. And we get a plain back towel and get it wet so to get a better grip. And fold it up. And quarters. And now I'm going to put this directly under. Okay, let it lift your head up. There you go. Good. Now let it back. So I'm going to put this right under his mandible as well as his occiput. And you're going to notice that my fingers are way back here on his occiput. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out. And just go limp. Excellent. Did you feel that all the way down? Yeah. Good. He did really well on that. We usually hear a lot of expletives on that first adjustment, but he did great. Great reflexes. You ever had that done before? No. Like that? No. Well, it's different. Yeah, definitely different. It moves everything from your skull all the way down to your pelvis. But we're going to recheck his posture now. So let's stand up over here in front of the mirror. And also, you know, those who watch, you know, I use an adjusting instrument to retrain the cerebellum how to hold the body in place as opposed to out of place. So let's flex your head forward and backwards again. Much smoother range of motion that time. And your neck's not off to the side near as bad, and your pelvis is more centered. But we're still going to improve on that. Lift your shoulders up with your traps. Pull back with your rhomboids. Clear these hands way back. See, that tightens all this up. Mm -hmm. Now we want to bring that head straight back and we're going to look up at the ceiling. And I want you to shift your pelvis straight to the right for me. There you go. Hold that right there. We're going to adjust his atlas in the x-axis. That will send a barrage. Okay, you can relax. Barrage of neurological input into the cerebellum. The cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, and all pinch-jig movement. Let's go ahead and flex your head forward and backwards again. This should have felt even smoother. Did that feel smoother to you yeah. that time? Yep, very good. Better. How's better. it feel? Good. It feels a lot better. If you don't mind telling our YouTubers, uh, was this worth the trip from New York? 100%. All right, thank you. Very nice to meet you and welcome to I Houston. hope I come to see you again. Yes, welcome anytime. Every year. And you're flying back to New York this afternoon, right? Today, 3 o'clock. Yep, so he flew down here just to see your Houston chiropractor. This is Dr. Gregory Johnson. We'll see you next time. Take care.